Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is is point in box. This is a really simple video and node. It is actually two different nodes. We have is point in box and is point in box with transform. Let me show you our example. You can see I have a point, the green little square, and a box, and on the top left it says false because that point is not in that box. Now the visual representation that you see is not included with this node. That is just me drawing a debug representation so we can see it. The node itself again is non-visual. It just is going to check and return back true or false. So let's look at the nodes themselves. They're very similar. The difference will be the middle part. They're going to take in a point. So where is this point that we're going to test against? Where's the box center, the origin of the box, and then the extent or the size of the box. So the distance in each axis from the origin. This will define our box. So in this case, our box here is going to be at 00150. So we can see our box is 00150. And the extent is 100, 100, 100. So my visual and my actual testing representation is this red box right here. Now the point I'm going to test is going to be at 125, 0, 150, which you can see drawn here. And you can see it's outside. So therefore my output is going to be false. That point is not in our box. Now if we moved it, let's say to something like 50, 0, 150. So we'll draw it at 50 and we'll test against 50 and we'll hit play. Now you notice it says true and you'll notice, yes, that point is inside of our box. Pretty simple, not much to say about it. It's intended for us to test a point against a box. Useful if maybe you need to see if something's encompassed within something. Maybe you fired a bullet and you want to see if it's actually inside of a location or you have a player maybe checking against something and you want to see if the line trace may be inside of a test point. Now our transform version is the same except instead of testing against an origin, a single point with an extent, we're going to check against a transform and then an extent. Remember transform is a location, rotation, and scale, whereas before we were just technically checking against the location. And that does matter. So you'll see here in this example, I'm now changing this from 00150 to 00150 with a rotation of 45 on the Z. So let me rotate my visual representation to test against this representation. And what play, you'll notice our box is now rotated. You'll also notice that technically that point is now inside of our box. It still says false because I'm using the old node. Remember, the old node didn't take into account rotation, so we're going to check against the new node. Now we're going to check against that same point and the same box setup, except now we're rotated. And when we hit play, look on the top left, it shows true. That's because with the box rotated and using this transform, that point is now inside of our box. And I can actually make this a little bit easier. We'll make our box a little bit thicker. There we go. So now it's easier to see. So you can see it's inside. That's it. That is going to be our is point and box nodes. They take in a point. Where's our point we're checking? They take in either an origin, which is a location in the world, and a size for the box, or a transform, which is a location, rotation, and scale, and a size. And it returns back if the point is inside those box dimensions.